Use the interactive tool finder to search for the tools to which legacy panel functionality has been moved. Like to identify where the ruled tool is located now. Use the search field to check for terms from legacy hyperworks and be pointed to their location in ribbons and tools. Like searching for toggle will bring you to the quick edit tool where you find toggle edge as option. Editing of edges, like toggle, replace and equivalence is available in the split slash stitch tool as stitch, suppress and unsuppress. For stitch, the options menu allows to adjust the cleanup tolerance, called maximum stitching distance. Creation and edit of surfaces with methods like extend, ruled or spline from legacy hypermesh can now be found under ruled, cross extend, extend and patch slash spline. Use the context help and its videos to make yourself familiar with the different functionalities and options. Especially patch slash spline offers multiple approaches. Like most automated you may click find in the guide bar to identify and fill closed loops of free edges. You may also drag one edge onto another to create a surface between them. Or simply select multiple lines to do so. You may see a symbol at your mouse pointer indicating that a click will switch the tangent transition from attached surfaces. Note also that by selecting surfaces, then clicking on it again, you delete the selected surfaces. Switch the tool to spline to be able to select nodes instead of lines. Editing options for surfaces like trim with nodes, lines, surfaces, and planes are available in the split slash stitch tool. Use the context help and its videos to make yourself familiar with the different functionalities available through clicking, dragging, and the use of keys. Like Split Interactive allows cutting by dragging with the left mouse button and also to create fixed points by left click. Then with Shift Click or Shift Window Drag, you can suppress fixed points or untrim or unsplit surfaces. Washer Split is available in Split for surfaces through the option Offset Lines. We recommend considering automated washer creation though. This can be done with respective settings in the perm file while meshing surfaces through the batch mesher or on existing elements through the rebuild tool. Create and populate a custom ribbon by drag and drop to assemble your favorite tools on your own ribbons. You may dock off such ribbons to have them permanently in front view. Alternatively, consider using the tool belt, which can be called with Alt and right click. Or build and load extensions which allow to include also your own scripts into ribbons and toolbars. This concludes the fifth of the six videos of the HyperMesh Quick Start for HyperWorks Classic Professionals video series. The next video is about mesh operations. Thanks for watching.